going on YouTube? Mike G with Largemouth Blast back at it again. Got about an hour till the sun comes up. Going to a little different place this morning. Not going to be as big a quality. Just not as much bait in the pond. But uh, we should have some good numbers. So stick around. I'll see you out on the water. Thicker than we thought. I guess people haven't been back here in a while. Keep on, keep it on. Just got out of here, haven't even put the boat in the water yet. Just tossed this frog out. I had one blow up on, I don't know how he missed it. Let's see if we can get him to follow it again. Oh yeah, second cast, let's go. He ain't big, but man, that's cool. You gotta love a topwater frog bite. Oh, he's nice, yeah. Look at that, pinned him right in the top of the head. Nice, cut that out. Let's go. Let's get that boat in the water. Start the morning. Oh, I saw him come out from under there for it. Ooh, let's get him up now. He's nice too. There was another one that followed it out too. He just got it first. Oh yeah. Let's get back in there quick. All right. Oh, let's go. Come on. Gotta get back in there. Oh. Two nice ones, same size, followed it right out. I dropped it right off the edge. Ah, I got a good feeling about this. Oh, right there on that weed line. I'm not even gonna move it. Oh, it's tough. I wanna move it. I wanna move it. All right, I gotta move it. I got to. Uh, oh. Yeah, we gotta move it. <laughs> come on, somebody come get it. Something just swung at it underneath. Didn't come after it though. Oh, that's a pickerel. And he's, he, whoo -hoo, he came at that thing at 35 mile an hour. Oh, a little bass. Get the net. Come on, come on. No, get up out of there. He's only hooked on the back hook. Nice. Let's go. Another one. I told you I had a feeling. I didn't think it would take all the way to the end of the cast. But, oh. All right, now here's where you get your problem. 
Treble hooks are not your friend with a small fish. Not your friend. He's all right. All right, good deal. We got to get back out there. This morning is hot. All right. Let's give a huck. Oh, I only got him on the back hook. Oh, I got Oh, come on, come on. Ah, he's small. It's all right, we're going for numbers today. I told you we're going for numbers today. Oh, that was probably another pickerel, man. I don't understand. <laughs> come on. I just put that on there. Turn my 10 inch power worm into a Ned rig. Wonderful. All right, guys, now I'm just determined to catch this pickerel. Ain't like I'm gonna get my stuff back, but I feel like it's just principle at this point. Cut my hook, my sinker off. Basically took a dollar right out of my pocket. He's just got no remorse. So we shall show him no mercy. There he is. That's a that's a bass. You could just tear it, I'm telling you. Numbers. Yeah, you could just tell, you know? He didn't, he wasn't flop, 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 flopping it around in his mouth like those pike do. I think one's just holding it in his mouth. Nope. Man, got smoked there. Let's see if he picks it up. There he goes. It's a big pickerel. I thought it was too, the way he was tap tapping. Come on, don't cut me off. He ain't that big, he's nice though. I don't have it in his mouth, nice. Nice hook set on him. Save the lure. Yeah, he ain't bad. See, now when you don't lose your stuff, that's fun. <laughs> Quick update. We did lose the worm. So, eh, give and take, you know, give and take. Oh, another pickerel. He picked it up, dropped it. I probably because probably the boat was coming over top of him. Let's see. Yeah. The boat was just way too close to him. I mean, I'm in two and a half feet of water. Another pickerel, dang. No, I lost my worm. You guys see it? No, it's sinking. No. Oh, see if I can get over there and get it in the net. I think I can. Let's see. I'm gonna have to come out with it there. Did I get it? Oh, I didn't get it. 
Darn. That sucks. Oh, man. He's little, but he... <laughs> Alright, so now. There's your dink. Let's get him close. Oh. Man, he took it and ran. Hold still, buddy. Nice. I mean, took it and ran. Oh yeah, nice bass, nice bass. Nice bass. Come on in here. Yes, sir. We, oh no, no, no. We weren't looking for you today, but I'll tell you, we were hoping. Let's go. That's a nice fish, guys. That is a nice fish. Oh yeah, right in the corner of the mouth too. Oh yeah. It's every bit of three and a half. So guys, I go to, you know, I put the fish in there, go to take a picture, lift my net out. Oops. <laughs> hey, good thing we got the camera. I got a hole in the bottom of my net from a pickerel biting it. I think this net has like a lifetime warranty or something. We'll see. He just slurped that. All right, guys. We'll end it on the dink. Been a great day. Couldn't ask for better, you know? Awesome. All right, I'll see you guys at the launch. There he goes, he's running with it. Oh. oh, I'm all tangled up. No, no, don't break my rod tip. All right, we're good. All right, I'm gonna end it on this. Look at the disaster I've caused myself. Oh, he's nice. Man, look how dark he looks. He's really dark. Oh, yeah. Hey, y'all. Sitting here at the boat launch, Mike G with Largemouth Blast. About to get all my gear out of here and up back out onto the truck. It was an awesome day, super productive, couldn't ask for any more. If you liked the video, liked the content, go ahead and hit that like button below. Hit the subscribe button and that notification bell, and anytime I post something, you'll be notified. All right, y'all, Mike G, Largemouth Blast, I'll see you.